Welcome back to Samstar Games, the place to find new strategy games and welcome to another episode of Rogue Stake Revolution. Now, before we begin, I want to go to a museum which we built last time and we can actually upgrade this building. We could turn it into a natural historia wing which will unlock the secrets of preserving our environment. We could turn it into a wing of great military triumphs which would help us with our military an exploration into what makes Bazenji the greatest nation in the world through the lens of our many conquests is bound to inspire conservatives. Actually, it doesn't help with military, it just makes conservatives happy. Oops. Wing of Ma American Atrocities. By holding the United States accountable for their support of the cruel Salman regime, you will earn easy favors with the Russians. Uh, we're gonna go with the uh, net. Well, actually, do we want to keep this open? Because we could just keep it, like, with no choice. And then if we choose that we want to side with the rations, we could use this. But I think... Eh, let's work on the environment. Oh, we can actually change this later. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. So as you can see, some of these buildings, you can upgrade them. For example, we could, in the market, we could spend 20 of treasury funds on a thoughtful gift for one of our ministers. Totally normal glorious leader stuff, nothing to see here. So this gives us, uh, this will make them a little bit happy. Happy, or which will make it so that they fulfill our quests a little bit faster. Would be pretty cool. We could also upgrade our farm to make it organic, for which we need to spend money and favor, but it will reduce the pollution. Something to keep in mind also is that some of these buildings, they gain corruption. You can lower the corruption by sending a specialist. We could get this facilities inspector to go there, but I don't think we need it right now. now I did promise you that we're going to build a military base. It cost me 50, which is not that bad. Where do we want to build a military base? Somewhere where we have a lot of workers. So I'm thinking somewhere in Saba. Actually, in Saba, we're going to do the whole production for gold and luxury products. So let's do this in Rumai. I don't know how to say these names. It's just it's like randomly picking. Let's pick it here. And here in Romai, we're gonna have our military base. It's kind of by the border, which is probably not the best idea in the whole wide world, but we're okay with it. We're making 5 to 11 per turn, so let's just jump to next turn, we'll see what happens. We're almost out of power. That's something to keep in mind, because we will need to figure out a way to, to find a new oil deposit that we could then use to uh, increase our, our power. Or we could try to bribe our minister of Div natural resources or development so that she will finish, or he will finish, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, so they will finish the research with, um, with the solar power because then we could build solar electricity, which would be pretty cool. The good news is that the real estate market in Saba is booming. The only problem is most of the property is being purchased by wealthy foreigners and are driving the local population out of these high value areas. Oh, but we could increase prosperity by two. These things are huge. These sort of like a flat increase of any stat throughout the whole nation. And the reason for that is in order to get plus two, you either need to build a lot of special buildings, change your policies, or you need to put a lot in the budget. So if I know that I'm going to get plus two in every area in... Actually, this is just in Saba. This is not through the whole nation. Okay. We could get less immigrants, but get four per month for 12 months. Or just get increased approval in Basenji. But I think everybody in Saba kind of digs me. I don't know if we need that. Let's do double the property taxes for foreigners. Because I kind of like the money. Yeah, let's let's go money. The welfare of your acquire a few citizens, something that we are main concerned about. We urge you to increase their approval. So this this is really important because this is not an easy task to do. So the way this oof, oof look at the prosperity in in her mind. This is terrible. We're gonna first thing we'll do is we'll remove this camp. I didn't realize that the military base is going to lower the prosperity that much. This is something we gotta work on ASAP. We'll figure out a way to increase it. But the Karifi is what I wanted to talk about. Is um, making them happy is not the easiest thing. So what we want to do here is we want to look at... This is in Basenji, so this is everywhere. We can look at the stats here somewhere. We can look for province. Demographics, yes. Here we can see Karif. No, no, uh, Kar well, 
All right, because we have 43% current. They're trying to get us to... I am actually know... To 58%, so that's a lot. And we got to figure out how to make them happy. There are a couple different ways to make them happy. You can either expand the rights of Kariki under the Ministry of Citizenship. We can... Um, we could also try to get a minister, which we're probably not going to be able to do it, but we can also do things that Karifi wants. So, for example, we could click on this province, and this is something you can do in general. And you're going to see like an example of citizens. So, for example, here we can see Basenji, or... These are actually... or... Yeah, this one is ethnically Karifi. And she is telling us what she kind of cares about. So she is approving the Minister of Citizenship's cultural policies. She says we have very bad courts and then that the war is over, why is the UN still here? So we removed the UN, so they should be happy about that. So we can try to look at this and try to kind of fulfill their task over here. Or, and you can kind of check like different cities everywhere. For example, see this person is Karifi, what is he saying? Our courts are dis a disgrace as well. So they want us to work on justice. So we could go here. And we could look at our court. So we currently have fast justice. Our judicial system insurance crimes are addressed swiftly. Trials are short and insertion rates are high. Although some innocents inevitably get caught in the net. We could switch it to fair justice. Which would lower our public safety. Uh, and cost us money. But I'm, I have money. Let's do it. Fair justice for the win. But you can see because I don't have a ministry. Minister in the minister of justice. I actually cannot do any like research. So we're going to switch to fair justice. We have negligent policing, but at least we have fair justice, okay? Now, another thing if we want to go do in the citizenship, we could switch from non-existent rights to limited rights for the Karifi. So, while Karifi are not legally restricted in where they live, work and play, ethnic Karifi are placed on a registry and have greater difficulty getting access to government services, which is better than what we have now, which is that they're treated as second-class citizens, communities have the right to limit where Karifi reside and businesses. You know what, let's do limited. The Zenji people are going to be a little unhappy, but it should help us out. Now, in the Ministry of Defense, we currently focus over in gray areas and national defense. Just kind of fine by me. Now I would like to work some more on prosperity here and well actually the, the UN camp should help out out with that. But yeah we're trending to 3.5 points with prosperity so we're pretty good. We're falling to 4.5 with safety because of our budget. Well 4.5 with safety is still great. So another thing you can do is you can look here like where am I trending? For example we could look here at Greek and look where are we trending with prosperity to same point so we're standing and with environment we're moving to three not great and we're falling to 4.5 on safety i think we're okay we're okay. we're pretty much okay with it now do we want to start building this export you're not gonna have enough energy for that that's the problem that's why i kind of need this surveyor to find me an oil thing or we could bribe somebody at the market. Who is the person who is working on solar parts? This is going to take you... It says somewhere how long it's going to take them. It doesn't say right now, but I think it's a few more months. What if I bribe this person? Can I do it? Can I grab the market and bribe... A dad? Mr. Adat, that's the first guy here. So he loves me now, so he should be able to do this faster, from my understanding. This is 55% though. Loyalty... Yeah, I thought, maybe it takes a turn. I kind of thought it would go a little bit better, but we'll see. Oh, we do have oil here. Do we have a refinery? We do. We could upgrade it, which will cost us a favor from the Minister of Natural Resources. That's fine, we have it. And it reduces pollution. And this is in Creek. So this actually would be pretty helpful with our environment, so let's do it. We'll increase the environment a little bit. So let's move towards the next turn. And we'll see how we're going to move with the Karifi. And also whether the guy with the natural resources is going to be capable of finishing my research. Because I, I really want my solar, solar power. Because I can't do the luxury goods until then. Oh, this is interesting. Excellency, 
Excellent, the disabled Basenji citizens face an uphill battle for care in rural areas. A lack of medical resources have left many people without access to critical health care. Particularly as not everyone has access to a vehicle. So this is what I was trying to say in the previous episode. If you get something that increases your stats through the whole nation, it's a really, really powerful thing. And this just costs me one time money, which I can't afford to do. That's good. So this is amazing. It was a great event. <laughs> Did you see the surveyor saying, I don't actually know how to use this thing. I'm kind of new. I wanted to do a different job, but you know. Uh, is the surveyor at the place where he's supposed to be? Now it's gonna take one more turn. Now, hey man, hey, how are you still not done? I thought that if I give you money, you're gonna. Didn't seem to do much with him. Or maybe it did. It just moved him from 50, 50 to 55. I kind of thought he would go a little bit faster. How are we doing on our Karifi situation? We're at 47, so we moved up. But not as much as I was maybe hoping. Karifi. Yeah, this is not like all that helpful for us. The Karifis are at 47%. I don't know if we're trending up or down. This is I wish we could see it like the way we see it with this. It would tell you like, hey, you are trending. I wish we could see that. Actually, maybe we can see it. No, we can just jump between these different areas. I'd really like to see it with the like Karifi. It's like, is it gonna keep moving up or is the movement that we did everything? Now these guys are kind of only 39% though in Saba. Because in Saba they're unhappy with pro uh, pro prosperity and entertainment. Could I increase prosperity and entertainment? What can I do? Actually, I don't have money, so I shouldn't be doing anything. Seaport. What else works on prosperity? International airport. Markets. We could build more markets. Or university? No. I guess we could build another market. It would help with entertainment and with the Saba thing, but we don't have money. So we'll go to our Minister of Foreign Affairs, get some money. And I'm gonna build a market here in Saba go. We don't have many workers available, but I need to get this up for 37%. We're also making 8 to 16, so what I could do is I could review the budget and increase the money in these bad areas, so we could work a little bit more on... Actually, I think we're trending up with prosperity here, right? We're moving to... No, we're not here. We're not either. And this entertainment thing is going to move to four. So we would have to increase prosperity in these two areas and public safety. Probably. Yes. In Kharif. Can we do that? Prosperity in Kharif. And prosperity in Rumai. And we would work on public safety in Karif. It's gonna cost us, but I'm gonna do it. We still got two more turns. The UN camps make us 18. Where is the last UN camp? Yeah, we're gonna remove it here in Saba. I don't think it's necessary. It also makes the Karifi unhappy, which is something we definitely don't want. We have them currently at 47%, I think it said. So we need to get this a little bit higher. Got two more turns still. What would we like to do is the question. I cannot afford to build this stuff just yet. Diplomacy. We're exporting food and food. I don't have much to do here. We can't really move this to eco anyways, even if we wanted to. We would need a research from a minister. With justice, we, we could move to bureaucratic policing from negligent policing, but it would cost us a lot more money per turn and lower public safety. And... If we jump from grey areas to rigid rule of law, we will not have to pay one per turn. We will lose intel, though, that we're gaining at the moment. 
I don't think I want to. Yeah, I don't think there's much for us to do here, honestly. Do we want to set up the free trade policy? Because we are making way too much food. So we could go here to, let's say, Axtijan, because they want everything. And we can make him the free trade. Under a free trade, this country would be Jinji's preferred trading partner. Let's do that. Too big of a step for us right now. Okay, well, I could do it with Tajikistan then. Oh, they also don't want it, but they love us. They didn't love us anymore. Okay, well, that, that did not go well. Okay. Thought they would be happy about it, but I know. That's too much, too much. Ooh. Excellency, but since she's in the midst of an obesity pandemic, our rapid economic growth over the past decade has indulged huge lifestyle changes among our citizens, including the consumption of Western junk food. So we could get increased health everywhere or do nothing and get increased entertainment. I think I want to take the entertainment. I don't want to lower any approvals because I'm trying to get... Oh, actually, this gives us both entertainment and health. Year-long national fitness program. We're all in this together. I gotta take that. I shouldn't be using this because I'm spending way too much money, but I... Ooh. They want us to increase approval with liberal citizens in Saba. Okay. The Karifi, did they move up again? Yes, to 50. So hopefully if they keep moving up, we get a chance. Liberal citizens, they're at 40%. So they want to get to 51%. So what makes... So open internet would make liberals happy. It would lower public safety, which is actually not as bad for us right now. And we like open internet, so let's do it. What else could we work on? We have super high internet. I could review the budget again to focus less on health and entertainment in Benifa. Let, let's first check where is it trending to. The entertainment is trending to 9.5 and health is trending to 9. So I think we can actually afford it. Let's lower this. And we should also check health in... This is trending to 8, so we can afford it, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's review the budget. Let's go down on Banifa with health. Adding provincial budgets in the province so soon after raising them will be... Okay, so we're not gonna do it. So not yet. We'll do it in a, in a few months. But we have this surveyor here. Excellency. We could check this area. We found another gold ore deposit. The thing is, I kind of need... Excellency. Excellency. I'm always having trouble clicking on the, on the surveyor, actually, and not the deposit. Excellency. Now, I'm trying to decide because, like, we need more money, right? And I'm trying to decide, do I want to just straight up go build at least, like, a gold mine? How much would a gold mine cost me? Gold mine is 20 and a smelter is 20, so that's just 40. But it costs energy. Two energy, that shouldn't be too bad. We should have enough. We need, like, 10. So let's do it. We would have to need to do, then we'll do a manufacturing plant. So all of this would cost us 80. So it's just one favor. So let's get a favor from this guy. And I'm going to build a mine here. Get me gold, please. Well, actually, we don't need to set it up. Then we're going to build a smelter. Still in Vanifa. It doesn't need to be. Let's build it another there. We want this to make gold bars. We're also going to need... Actually, we can't build a road just yet. So in next turn. So we're just going to move towards the next turn. Then we want to build a road between these two. Okay. 
Under the former monarchy, Balsentia maternity leave policies were limited to 12 weeks with 0% of wages paid. With the new constitution and the new democracy, Balsentia citizens are now requesting both the government and employers work together to produce more progressive policy. So we could increase the approval of liberals only, which is something we do care about. Or increase total approval by a lot of percent. This would help us with both Karifi. Can I spend eight per month? I think I might. I think I might. Let's do it. It's a little crazy, but I think I can afford it. With all of our citizens now. Okay, so Karif are going up to 53. This is going amazing. They're losing money, but I think we still have some favors, so we should be able to handle it, especially once we get the money going with the export. Liberals are at 42. We still need 9%, so that's quite a bit. And total approval is at 51. He wants it at 62. Is it crazy? Okay, let's build first a road like this. Now. You need a connection to manufacturing plant. Or we can just export. But I really think that the manufacturing plant would be useful. It lowers environment, so I'm actually not gonna build it here. I'm gonna build it in Saba. Either Saba or Karif. Does this increase prosperity at any chance? It does not. Let's do it in Karif. It's not close, but that shouldn't be that much of a problem. Adjacent to town. So let's build it here. And we want to make luxury goods. And then I want to export these luxury goods to... to Axtijan. Hey man. I want to give you luxury goods because I've got them. Yes. Okay. This should really help us out with money. We have one action left. We're gonna make money and a lot of it. Now, how are we doing? We need we need five percent with Karifi. How much with the liberals? We already switched the open internet. We're still not like particularly doing so hot. 9% with liberals. Can I see where most of my liberals live? Liberals. You live mostly in Karif and Banifa. So let's check Banifa. And let's just see, like, what are the liberals saying? You're not, you're a liberal. You care. You're pretty happy. I don't understand. You're super happy. How about you? You don't like the Karifi situation? Well, too bad, because I'm trying to make clear. What about you? You're super mad. Our international reputation is bad. Our international reputation... Is that something I can work on? I can favor somebody. That's going to be a problem. I could prioritize diplomacy, which would lower... I have increased international security and conservative approval. If I move to here, I'll get increased illegal immigration approval and international diplomacy. It's not going to help me too much. Prioritize rule of law, which will increase law, so probably public safety and liberal approval. The lower international security, though. I think, like... Our international security is pretty high. We could probably try to get it a little bit lower. We would really like to increase our diplomatic influence, though. Let's do it. Let's try to get... Might be a terrible decision. I don't actually know. But if we could just jump to... International diplomacy would also... Let's get the liberals happy. So let's do this. Environment, climate, leadership, and liberal approval. Sure. That should make everybody a little bit happier. And we'll jump to next time. Hopefully we're not going to get invaded or anything like that. There's actually no event this time. Okay. We're not making any money because we're paying a lot. No 
a way to like look at there must be a way to just like look at maybe in the budget yeah making 24 in food we're making zero in luxury goods did we not make a connection with uh who am i trading this giving this i'm giving it to axtijan i do have a road with axtijan correct yes i think that's what we were building last time let me just build a road like that, and then from here to there, just to be sure. Is there not a road here? I think it's fine, I think it's connected. So maybe it just takes one more turn before it kind of like activates. That's probably the case, we'll have to check it again later. This guy is happy with my leadership. And he finished solar power. This is amazing because we can start building solar energy. Another thing we would like to focus on is green economy. No, that will make it more expensive. Strip mine. Increase prosperity, lower environment. Electronic vehicle inspections. This lowers entertainment, which is not too much of a problem for me because I have really good entertainment. And increase public safety and, and environment. Let's do that. Vehicle inspections. Seems like a good move. Are we still not done here? 56%. We're almost done with the Karifi. Liberals. 47 out of 51. Almost there as well. And here we are at 54 out of 62. So we're doing pretty well. We just need to work a little bit on environment and public safety. But I actually think that this is a good time to end the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. You can click on the right to watch the next episode.